Have you ever wanted to know how Mr. Beast and other highly popular YouTubers add these cool, engaging captions to their videos? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can recreate this for yourself as well. My name is Vince and let's get right into it. So once you are in Adobe Premiere, the next thing you want to do is you want to come here to your text tab. Now, if it's not, you know, visible for you, what you can do is just come here to window and make sure that right here where it says text, you click on it and then it's gonna pop up for you as well. After that, what you want to click is create transcription. And if you click on that, you are going to be able to auto transcribe the whole video so you don't have to manually go and type in, you know, all these letters and things. For language, I'm gonna keep it English. Uh, I don't want to separate the speakers because it's just me in this clip and here, um, you can choose which audio track you want to transcribe. So I could either, you know, choose audio track one, but since in this case, I don't have multiple tracks or anything, I'm just going to leave it on mix and then it's going to analyze the whole audio and create captions from that. So after that, you want to click on transcribe and you can see now here, uh, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro is doing its magic. And just like that, it basically, uh, you know, made a transcription from this whole clip, right? So once that is done, Make sure that it is, you know, correct. If you want to edit anything here, you can always just double click on it and change anything right there. After that, we want to click here on this CC button, which is going to create captions for us. Okay, here you can uh, choose from uh, caption presets, but I want to click here now on preferences and here I'm going to leave the format on subtitle. I'm going to take down the maximum length in characters to a lower number. Uh, I like to keep it somewhere around 14 because this way uh, you are not going to have, you know, super long sentences written out on your screen. You're going to get this highly engaging and, you know, fast paced captioning if you make your character length maximum a, sh a smaller number. In terms of the minimum duration in seconds, I like to bring that down all the way to around 1.2 uh, seconds or 1.5. And um, in terms of the gap between corruptions, I like to leave that on zero. That just means there is always going to be some sort of text on my screen, right? It's not going to have any gaps between the two different uh, captions. After that, uh, you can cho choose whether you want to have two lines, so double line or single line. I like to leave it on single line uh, for the most part. After that, you want to click on create caption and now it's creating captions for you. And you can see it's already done and it added the captioning on this new channel. And this is not a video uh, track or it's not an audio track. This is actually a caption track that is, you know, on top of everything. And if I play it back, you can see now it has that little uh, caption on the bottom of the screen right here. As you can see now, it doesn't look that good yet, right? We want to make sure it looks better. So here's what we are going to do. First of all, I like to come here to the captions and graphics workspace. And then I like to come here to essential graphics. Now you want to select all of these different uh, captions that it just added for you. And you want to change the font. If you want to use kind of like the uh, Mr. B style, I think this Obelix Pro uh, font is pretty close to that. So I'm going to choose that. You want to scale up the text a little bit more. So maybe somewhere around 130 should work for us. You know, here you can choose whether you want it to be all caps or not. I like to leave it on all caps. Uh, and now next up, we are going to add a little bit of a stroke to our uh, text and we will make the outline black. So it has a bit more contrast. You can make the stroke also a bit wider. So it has nice contrast for the background. And I also like to leave a little bit of a drop shadow on there. Um, so yeah, with this, I'm pretty happy in terms of its looks. But if you wanted to, you know, you could go ahead and make even more changes to this. After this, we could pretty much just say that we are done because now if I play this back, let's see. Yeah, so you can see it added basically perfect captioning uh, to it and it already looks pretty good. But if you wanted to take it up a notch and even add some animations to it, here's how you can do that. First of all, we want to select again all these uh, captions and then we want to come up here to the top where it says graphics and titles. And now we want to click on upgrade caption to graphics. And this way you can see it created uh, basically essential graphics 
uh, from all of these captionings and now we can basically do all sort of animations with it or anything we want really one of the most like popular uh you know kind of like animations that mr beast's uh, editors add to it is kind of like that zoom up uh, and zoom down transition or um, animation so i'm going to show you how you can do that that scale up animation so first off you want to come here to your effects and then you want to add this effect called transform to that clip um and uh, I actually saw a really cool video from Cinecom guys. So shout out to them as well. Uh, I like the way they did it. So that's why I'm, uh, you know, showing you this method. So once you have that transform added to the certain, uh, you know, one that you want to animate, you can come here. First of all, you want to align these two. Uh, you want to bring this down here, these two uh, little blue crosses and make sure that it lines up so your animations are not going to look weird and wacky. And after that, you want to come here to scale and you want to toggle animation in the beginning of it. You want to then come to the right, maybe like four or five frames. And uh, here you want to set another keyframe. And here uh, on the second keyframe, you want to have it at 100. And on the first keyframe, I'm going to set it at zero. So it scales up uh, if, like this, right? And I'm also going to go ahead and uh, change the shutter angle to around 150. And that is going to get us a nice little motion blur as well. And here on the second keyframe, I'm going to also come and add the ease in uh, effect to it. So now if we play this back, uh, you get this nice like pop-up text animation and if we want to apply this to all the other captions as well that we have created we can just come here to effect controls select the transform one right that we have just animated press command c or if you are using a windows computer just press Control c and then after you want to go ahead and select all the other uh, captions as well right and then just press command v and i'm going to select all the ones to the left as well and press command V. And now if we watch this back, you can see it added this cool little animation to it. Yeah, the reason you want to use this transform one instead of just a regular scale is because this way you can add this cool, you know, motion blur effect to it as well. But this is not the only animation you can add to these texts. You can do all sort of things. So, uh, you know, the only limitation is really just your imagination. Basically, that is how you can add uh, captions to your videos pretty much instantly you know gone are the days where you would have to type out manually every single line one by one and you know I remember I used to do Instagram kind of uh, reels and ca and stuff like that for clients and I would have to type out literally every single line manually and it would take probably like an hour to caption a two three minute video so it was a pain in the ass and you know with Adobe Premiere's current advanced features it is so much easier. So if you want to learn more stuff like this, if you want to take your content to the next level and become a magnetic editor and learn really how to create just incredible, engaging social media content that helps you build your personal brand and rake in millions and millions of views, check out Magnetic Editor, my editing masterclass program in the description. And if you enjoy this one, make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one.